Clay bricks has been dominating the brick manufacturing industry. By default, when one utters the word brick, people take them to be of clay. The production and manufacture of clay bricks needs a large quantities of natural earth and soil. The energy involved in manufacture is also predominantly high. We now take you to a scene at Avadi. Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Here, large amounts of soil is being timely excavated and prepared to be sent to a nearby brick manufacturing factory. You are now witnessing the removal of earth and soil to manufacture of clay bricks. Over the last few decades there has been an increase in building construction which has accelerated the depletion of natural resources. The manufacture of clay bricks involves extensive physical, manual and human labor. Women and children are the major victims of labor exploitation in this process. The construction time required for brick construction is also considerably high. Clay bricks may not be the best available option for building. With the present day's advancements in building technology, a budding architect needs to think beyond the ordinary. Scientists have discovered several suitable innovative materials to substitute the conventional building brick out of clay. One such remarkable material is fly ash. Can anyone imagine a world without electricity? Electricity is one of the biggest discoveries of mankind. It adds color and splendor to life. With the increasing population, the demand for electricity has also increased tremendously. Thus several massive power generating plants have been created across the globe to generate the much needed electric energy to sustain human living. You are now taking a virtual tour of one such power plant. The Nevely power plant is the biggest producer of electricity that caters to the whole of Tamil Nadu. It is from here that about 90% of fly ash is obtained. Nevely power plant is the chief source of fly ash production down south. It uses lignite as the primary source for energy production, has an installed capacity of 2740 megawatts of electricity. Crude pieces of coal is first collected in large machines and then crushed into smaller particles. It is then dumped onto a conveyor belt. This conveyor belt carries the crushed coal to a massive container. and then the coal is moved to pulverizers through huge pipes. Coal enters the pulverizers and spins in a large drum and then the coal is grinded into fine powder Coal is blowed into the boiler, which contains large quantity of water. Coal ignites and generates energy which converts water into steam. 
Temperature of the steam is about 1000 degree Fahrenheit. This process generates thermal energy which is transformed into mechanical energy. This steam with 1000 degree Fahrenheit runs the turbines and thus provides power to run the generator. The generator continuously creates electricity. Transformer is just located outside the plant. And then the electricity is transformed through transmission lines. And then the electricity is distributed to the various customers. At distance through distribution lines. precipitators are the another method of extracting coal ash otherwise called fly ash from boiler during combustion process these poles called drapers that shakes fly ash from the wires gas from the furnace contains fly ash that flows into the box fly ash drops into the storage chamber and then loaded into the rocks. Then the fly ash is transported down south. Energy created a process that turns the waste product into a valuable building material called gypsum, which is used as basic raw material for manufacturing fly ash bricks. Gypsum is the byproduct of coal obtained while manufacturing electricity. And this is the process of collection of gypsum. And then the gypsum is recycled and stored, and it is supplied to fly ash brick manufacturing industry. This is the detailed process of fly ash collection during coal combustion process. Then the coal is dropped into the pulverizers through funnel shaped container and then the coal is grind into powder. Powdered coal is blowed into the boiler, and then, it ignites, and converts the water, into hot steam. Hot air contains large amounts of fly ash, and it flows through the wrappers. This wrappers, shakes fly ash when fly ash sticks to it. And then, the fly ash is collected at the bottom of the chamber, and packed in big sacks. Then the smoke, is released out through big chimneys, Big sacks contains large amounts of fly ashes carried to the recycling plant through trucks. Fly ash is a waste product obtained from various power plants. 72% of India's power plants are coal based. These power stations generate nearly 40 million tons of fly ash annually. Fly ash contains CO2 emitted from thermal power plants. Industries using coal as a fuel emits unwanted ash and smoke, from which fly ash is produced. In recycling plant, the fly ash is filtered, and moved through the big, chamber. And then the recycled fly ash is loaded in big truck, after that, the fly ash, is dropped in fly ash lake near the plant. We shooted this video through our mobile phone for some reasons.
The basic points to be noted with regard to fly ash is that it causes severe pollution of air and water and its disposal gobbles up large tracts of land. Fly ash is an excellent substitute for clay in bricks. The new fly ash brick construction fever is steadily catching on. This fly ash is then used as a raw material for manufacture of bricks. Thus, fly ash is suitably utilized in construction to reduce the harsh environmental impact that it possess when left unattended. It is the mixture of 10 to 15 percent lime and 5 percent of gypsum. Gypsum and lime is used as a binding material and then it is mixed with other raw materials. Fifty-five to sixty percent of fly ash is mixed with five percent of gypsum, but its purity should be above eighty percent. Then it is mixed with suitable raw materials for making brick. Another raw material is sandstone dust. It is mixed with the fly ash about twenty to twenty-five percent. Pan mixture of adequate capacity should be used for mixing and grinding raw materials. 20% of sludge lime and 5% of gypsum mixture is initially added to the pan mixture. And then the required quantity of water is added to the pan mixture. After that, 20 to 25% of sandstone dust shall then be added along with the quantity of water. Finally, fly ash, a raw material obtained from power plant is added to the pan mixture along with quantity of water. Mixing should be carried out till such time uniformity in color and homogeneous mix is obtained. Will take about 5 minutes time. Properly mixed raw material is generally transported through a belt conveyor to the press feed hopper. The mix is then fed to the hydraulic rotary press, where the molds are automatically filled in. Set of two molds. Each are located 120 degree apart at rotary table. Bricks are formed at the pressure of 150 to 200 kilograms per centimeter square. In case of vibro press, mix is manually brought from the pan mixer. And then filled in molds. The table on which the molds are kept, is vibrated. Generally bricks made from both presses acceptable quality. The pressed bricks are taken manually and laid on wooden pallets in 4 to 5 layers. Pallets should be very strong enough to carry the stack of green bricks without sagging. Brick laid and pallets, are transported on hydraulic trolley from press area to, stack yard. Green bricks shall be air dried for one to two days. Thereafter, air dried bricks should be water cured for minimum period of 14 days. Then curing is carried out by sprinkling of water manually or by any other method. The curing period may be extended during cold and wet weather period. Fly ash bricks are widely used throughout the world and are also promoted by central government. It is used by big township project like Magarpata City, NTPC, Navy Lee NLC etc. Ministry of Environment and Forest had issued a Gazette notification on the 14th of September 1999, stipulating that no person shall be permitted to manufacture clay bricks or tiles or blocks for use in construction activity without at least 25% of ash, fly ash, bottom ash, 
or pond dash on waste to weight basis, within a radius of 50 km from coal or lignite based thermal power plants in India. Ministry of Environment and Forest had amended the Gazette notification on the 27th of August 2003 making it compulsory to use fly ash for manufacturing building material by increasing the radius from 100 km to 200 km. Seventy three per cent power generated in India is from thermal power and ninety per cent of it is coal based. Ash content is twenty seven per cent to forty two per cent of the coal used. Increase in fly ash generation has risen from 1,000 hectares of top soil is being lost every year rise to manufacturing and road construction in coming decades. If we continue in this format, very soon, we will not have sufficient soil to produce our minimum required food. This is proving to be a revolutionary invention that produces bricks without the sintering process. And, consequently, no greenhouse gases are emitted. The ultimate product is none other than FAL, G brick which is well qualified as emission abating projects to receive the benefits of carbon credits. Fly ash bricks are alternative to burnt clay bricks in the construction sector in India. Fly ash is mixed with two other ingredients available as industrial byproducts, lime from the industry, and gypsum from chemical plants. Disadvantages of fly ash bricks. Mechanical bonding strength is weak. But this can be rectified by adding marble waste. Limitation of size. Only modular size can be produced. Large size will have more breakages. Advantages. Of fly ash bricks. Appearance. These bricks have a pleasing color like cement, are uniform in shape and smooth in finish. Also, they require no plastering for building work. The bricks are of dense composition, uniformly shaped with, without a frog, free from visible cracks, war page, organic matter, pebbles and nodules of free lime. They are lighter in weight than, ordinary clay bricks and less porous too. The color of fly ash bricks can be altered with the addition of admixtures during the process of brick making. They come in various sizes, but generally are similar to the sizes of clay bricks. Structural capability. These bricks can provide advantages being available in several load-bearing grades, savings in mortar plastering, and giving smart-looking brickwork. High compressive strength eliminates breakages, wastages during transport and handling. The cracking of plaster is reduced due to lower thickness of joints and plaster and basic material of the bricks, which is more compatible with cement mortar. Due to its comparable density the bricks do not cause any extra load for design of structures and provides better resistance for earthquake loads due to panel action with high strength bricks. Thermal properties. Thermal conductivity is 20 to 30 percent less than those of concrete blocks. These bricks do not absorb heat, they reflect heat and gives maximum light reflection without glare. Sound insulation. It provides an acceptable degree of sound insulation. Fire and vermin resistance. Fly ash bricks have a good fire rating. It has no problems of vermin attacks or infestation. Durability and moisture resistance. 
these blocks are highly durable. After proper pointing of joints, the bricks can be directly painted in dry distemper and cement paints, without the backing coating of plaster. Rectangular faced with sharp corners, solid, compact and uniformly water absorption is 6 to 12 percent as against 20 to 25 percent for handmade clay bricks, reducing dampness of the walls, toxicity and breathability. There are no definite studies on the toxic fume emissions or the indoor air quality of structures built with fly ash bricks, though claims of radioactive emissions by these blocks have been made at some scientific forums. Fly ash as a raw material is very fine and care has to be taken to prevent from being airborne and causing serious air pollution as it can remain airborne for long periods of time and causing serious health problems relating to the respiratory system. Though, block manufactured from fly ash has no such problems. Sustainability Environmental Impacts Fly ash is a cocktail of unhealthy elements, silica, aluminium, iron oxides, calcium, magnesium, arsenic, mercury, and cadmium, and poses serious environment and health hazards for a large population. But the brick is better off, for fly ash changes into a non-toxic product when mixed with lime at ordinary temperature as the calcium silicate hydrates and forms a dense composite inert block, thus having the potential as a good building material, while offsetting about 100 million tons of fly ash annually produced in India by the numerous thermal power plants, which could cause serious contamination of land groundwater and air, buildability, availability and cost. The blocks have an easy workability and high compressive strength eliminates breakages, wastage during handling giving a neat finish, with lower thickness of joints and plaster. The construction technique remains the same as regular bricks ensuring easy change of material, without requiring additional training for the masons. Though these bricks are abundantly available closer to thermal power plants all over the country for obvious reasons, finding dealers in all major cities and towns wouldn't be a problem. Applicability. The blocks being available in several load-bearing grades are suitable for use, dash, load-bearing external walls, in low and medium-sized structures. Non-load-bearing internal walls in low and medium-sized structures non-load bearing internal or external walls in high-rise buildings. In the real estate sectors where the cost of construction is ever rising and buyers feel the heat, fly ash brick acts as an alternative solutions for clay bricks which are in heavy demand. Many real estate companies have started using fly ash bricks as a substitute and it is a welcome sign. Tiles can also be made using it. It comes in various forms and sizes. It is used in pathways and courtyards. Doshi Housing is one of the leading green building association in Chennai. They construct their building using fly ash bricks. Don't use clay bricks.